What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge uh, football edition as we have uh, another commit to uh, talk about, to get excited about. And this one is a guy that probably has gone a little bit under the radar, Jay. Uh, before we start, make sure you guys click subscribe, uh, join the Sooner Surge uh, family, and uh, let's get started with uh, the commitment of Eli Bowen. Uh, this is not one that uh, will shock Sooner fans, Jay, but uh, one that needs to be talked about because how good of a player he is. Four-star out of Denton Geyer, uh, DB. Uh, what do you got on Eli Bowen? Man, just like you said, he's 5'9", about 170, 180, I believe. Um, but the big thing is he chose OU over Texas. It's always a big it's always a big get. Uh, but I, everybody knew he was going to end up at OU probably because of his brother Peyton Bowen, obviously. Uh, but just gives you another four-star athlete back there, cornerback. Um, and, you know, he plays a lot bigger than his size, really. I mean, his size, uh, anything I've read and, and seen highlights on, he plays a lot bigger. I mean, you can go back to, uh, I believe, Derek Strait, what, 2002 or three. I think he won the Thorpe Award. He wasn't the biggest cornerback. Um, and I'm not comparing him to Derek Strait. I'm just saying you don't have to be 6'1", 6'2", to be a great corner. Uh, and he, he is. He's a great cornerback, just elite uh, elite guy to go get the ball at corner, elite cover guy, and just going to be a great asset for this 24 squad. And I think it was just – I think people were kind of – I think most people knew this was happening. It's not that. It's just that the way it just happened tonight and they got the commitment uh, tonight, I kind of think was a uh, – people were kind of thrown off guard because you had an Andy Bass commitment this morning. And then with this one, Hunter, this one was just kind of like I was just going through Twitter and like, whoa, didn't expect that tonight. Yeah, it's uh, not one that I expected right now, but it makes sense. Like, uh, yeah, Eli Bowen, his brother Peyton, is a five star at OU. Uh, it was pretty much known from the get go. I think uh, a lot of people last year were kind of more confident that Eli would end up at OU than Peyton would when Peyton was still the Notre Dame commit, all that stuff. So uh, a lot more people were confident on Eli. He's just very he, – he's not a, a flashy type of guy on social media uh, like a lot of other recruits. It's been very uh, – I mean, he put out that top two kind of randomly too. Like yeah, just threw it out there. So this is another one that he just threw it out there. Uh, I am a little shocked that it – was literally no one knew about it. It was just six o'clock and at it was dinner after. time, man. I was like, what is this? But uh a lot of guys like to have everything wrapped up before their senior season starts. And uh I think Dick Geyer, I would assume, starts tomorrow. So uh makes sense on that. Yeah, and he's I was talking about earlier. Yeah, he's and guy. he's not the biggest guy, but he plays a lot bigger than that. Yeah, we can hear you, Jeremy. Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, you get the Bass commitment today. Uh, you get this one. We know Stone is coming on, uh, committing on Saturday. Uh, Brent Venables, I think this is really a testament also to, uh, it, it's got to be clear that Peyton Bowen is loving everything about OU. Uh, otherwise, I don't think this is, is happening uh, like this. So obviously, that's good news, knowing that uh, probably everything that's going on with Peyton Bone is good to get his brother to commit as well. And like you said, this is we're not talking about a, a run in the mill DB guy. He's a four star. Uh, the guy's going to be a special player. Yeah, he. What you said about Peyton is true. But I think if if you look at his commitment graphic, basically, and I think a quote from him is "Family over everything." Yeah. He was going to go wherever his bro was at. Um, tight bond. That's where he was going to play. Most people knew that. But it's just the timing of it, like you said, getting going before the season starts at Denton Geyer. Now that gives you Jackson Arnold, Peyton Bowen, and Eli Bowen all from the same high school. Just uh, that, that maybe that, that high school there can become a kind of like a minor league system for OU, let's hope. But, hey, the Stone commitment is Saturday. Uh, let's just hope that happens. I mean, we, we don't know yet how that's going to play out, obviously. You, Hunter, you talked about Eli Bowen being a non-flashy uh person and we know david stone's kind of the opposite of that so we'll see on saturday about that but i'm just excited for eli bowen i think you know with the development the coaches there with uh hall and jay Valai, i think are really going to do uh great things with eli bowen 
And he's also a special teams player, too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, I watched quite a bit of EY last year, obviously. You watch Denton Guy or you see Jackson Arnold, you see Peyton Bowen, but EY Bowen was just as good as the two of them. I'm really shocked that he is now a consensus, like a, in the composite rankings, a three-star. Uh, I'm shocked that he took that big of a drop. I'm, I guess the height is a concern, but I mean, the winner of the Jim Thorpe Award last year was five nine, so uh, identical Just, height. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Don't, and don't Derek you? Strait, Derek Strait at OU was about five eleven. He wasn't massive. Don't you think he'll be a four star though? I, I, he was a four star. Before, at one point, he was a four star, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but I'm almost positive he was a four star at about this time last year. So, uh, if he has a big season, obviously, he can jump back up. But I, I think they're going to leave him here. I'm shocked by it. But, in my opinion, a uh, much better player than uh, what his rating says he is. Uh, he was making a lot of big plays. Uh, at Denton Geyer last year and this year. Uh, he's really the guy. Uh, Peyton's not there to kind of overshadow him anymore. It's uh, it's E.Y. Bowen's turn now. Hey, and when you say four-star, four three, you're talking about consensus, right? I, I'm like, talking about the composite rankings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So He, he started, uh, yeah, like about this time last year, he was, I think, at a four star and uh has since went down in pretty much every update they put out who who did he choose o, OU over guys who are some other other schools you want to run texas after was, texas was the top two OU and texas uh he he had other offers but those he narrowed it down to his top two i can't remember the date but it's been a while yeah it was a couple weeks ago and yeah uh, texas obviously wasn't going to get him but they did recruit him very well. Uh, there was some times that, because he's very reserved. Uh, yeah. Not posting. Uh, so you see those Texas uh, posts after a visit, and you're like, okay, is like, is this just a post-visit high, or is this real? And then they make the top two. So uh, Texas, I mean, really did better than I would have expected them in a recruitment. But, I mean, he says family over everything. His brother's at OU. And not often that you're going to have siblings go to the two biggest rivals in the sport. Yeah. And you talk about Peyton Bowen at OU. Like, if Eli Bowen – I mean, you see what Peyton Bowen's doing, learning all these positions and just his knowledge of football. I, I would have to think Eli's probably along the same similarities exactly. in that aspect of it. So he's going to be a very knowledgeable, heady player. Uh, yeah. And just another guy to put in that defensive backfield, guys. And, you know, one year separated from Peyton, so these guys could have two or three years together at OU just could be havoc back there. The Bowen bros, man. I mean, could just – could be insane. Oh, yeah. so. e Eli's uh, – he was he told Hayes in the announcement that he's uh, – the there there's plans for him to play either nickel, safety, defensive back. Like, uh, there's a lot of options. And like you mentioned with Peyton, I mean, Peyton's getting thrown into the cheetah room uh not gonna start but he's one of the four guys getting rotated in there at practice so this uh these brothers are going to find their way on the field together quite a bit and honestly it could happen very early on yeah all right well guys thanks for joining us it's a great day to be a sooner i'll tell you that you got bass you got Bowen, a uh, big weekend coming up, but man, just two really good athletes committing today. I'm just excited for the program in this class, starting to fill out, looking good. So as always, guys, click the button to subscribe. Till next time, Boomer. <laughs>